on WKYC, Storm Team Meteorologist Mike Gillespie. All eyes this afternoon on Hurricane Maria as she continues to pound the island of Puerto Rico. She made landfall early this morning around 615 in between the cities of uh, Yumacao and Yabakimo. And you'll notice that that system continuing to race towards the northwest. And here's the deal. We are expecting for winds at 140 miles per hour to continue to topple trees and power lines on the island. I think that there's going to be huge concerns when it comes to not only flooding, but landslides and rock slides on the island of Puerto Rico as well. The next question is, where is this heading? Well, Maria racing towards the northwest. We're expecting that she'll eventually make her way off the coastline of Puerto Rico. And by 8 p.m. this evening, with winds at 100 140 miles per hour sandwiched in between not only Puerto Rico, but then the island of Hispaniola just north of, say, the Dominican Republic before making a veer up towards the north and towards the east. Here's the Bahama Islands, by the way, and we're expecting that end of the weekend, Friday, Saturday and into Sunday that we'll see a very near miss there. And notice that as we kind of broaden things out, her impacts by early to mid next week, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday could be felt along along the eastern seaboard, of course, high not only wave heights, but rip currents could be associated with that. And some of our spaghetti plot models also indicating that again, should her track shift a little bit more towards the west, we could be talking about a, about a very close potential hurricane towards the United States. Here's what we're tracking for you right now. Of course, Tropical Storm Jose still posing a big threat for places like Boston, of course, the Cape as well, 70 mile per hour winds there. And through the day today and into Thursday and Friday, doing a little kind of loop to loop, if you will, there, but just kind of hanging out. So no huge cause for concern there. For more hurricane updates, you can always add me as a friend on Facebook, Twitter, or on Instagram.